this is Mike. I am in Conway, South Carolina, visiting Conway Ford, and I'm checking out a 2016 Ford Focus sedan. Now this one is in the S trim level, and really neat little car. Some people call it a baby fusion because it kind of looks like a, a fusion a little bit. This vehicle has the 15 inch steel wheels with the hubcaps, old reliable steel wheels, and it has the old reliable disc brakes in the front and drum brakes in the back. Let's take a look here in the front. We have a halogen reflector headlight system here with the low and high beam separated. You see it have the low beam on the right, high beam on the left. This one in particular does not have any fog lights. But check out these angles here on the hood. You can see it has some pretty neat looking angles. And another interesting thing about this vehicle, it has active grill shutters here on the front. So that way it helps with the aerodynamics of the vehicle. And that might be part of the reason why it gets 40 miles per gallon on the highway. So here's your key. It's kind of a traditional key, uh, but it has your buttons here for lock and unlock the doors, uh, unlock the trunk, and you have a panic button there. And you have a Ford emblem on the back side when you peel this uh, paper off here. But let's go ahead and make sure it's unlocked by pushing the unlock button and check it out. Here's the inside of the passenger door. It's all black. You have some soft to the touch surfaces here in cloth. Now you have a handle there, little storage pocket there, one, one there at the bottom, as well as a bottle holder. You have your door lock control and window controls there. There's your threshold. You do have cloth black interior. And the seats are pretty comfortable. Uh, they don't have like super significant bolstering. Uh, you can actually get in there and it doesn't, you know, you got you got the ability to move around a little bit. Manual adjustments on the seats here. Check out the leg room here in the front. The front has a significant amount of leg room. Now, the more you move the seat back, which the seat's all the way back now, the more you compromise uh, the people in the back seat's leg room. So it's a little bit of a trade off there. There's your glove compartment. It's pretty neat. It has a little place to put a, your registration and a pen and stuff there. Always looking for a pen. Let's take a look in the back. Here's the inside of the back door. A little bit smaller, uh, less, little, less storage pockets and stuff here in the back door. Uh, this is all hard plastic in the back. Easy to clean, durable, that kind of stuff. Now you notice you have manual uh, power windows here in the back you have power windows in the front manual in the back just want to point that out um, never seen that in the vehicle before but that's one of the features of this one so you have little storage pockets here around the seat which is cool kind of making up for some of the lack of storage pockets in the door so there's your back seats kind of a bench seat with ever so slight bolstering around the seats to give you a little bit of a uh, bucket seat feel and just want to mention the front seat is all the way back so that's the reason why you have the 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 minuscule leg room here i mean you can still get back here and everything you're just your leg is going to touch the back of the seat but of course you don't have to have the seat all the way back you can you know compromise a little bit depending on uh, the passengers that you actually have so you can move it forward and back so i moved the seat up slightly so you can see uh, you get a lot more room when you just compromise just a little bit of room in the front you can have a lot more room back here now these seats will fold down there's a little button back here that you can push and you can fold the seats down like so and it's a 60 40 split so you can have a combination of cargo and passenger space if you want to do that makes the trunk a lot bigger when you start folding seats down Now your fuel door is on the passenger side so you can have your passengers pump the gas for you and it's going to be really simple because there's no cap so you just put the nozzle in there pump your gas you're good to go now you will need to use a little funnel in order to put gas in the vehicle with a gas can but other than that this is super simple you notice it has this little rubber seal around this outside here to help keep 
stuff from going in there but it's uh it has a pretty good design and this keeps the check engine light and stuff like that from turning on when you accidentally leave the cap loose and just overall convenience so let's take a look here in the back you see the tail lights looking pretty cool there love the color the color is called magnetic so i don't know if you can pick it up on camera but it looks really cool and it has like a metallic look to it or something you have a single exhaust back here backup camera lens just under here so let's go ahead and open up the trunk there's a little button right there to open it up so right here is your trunk and it's pretty good size I was really surprised to see how big it was compared to the overall size of the vehicle you have little storage cubbies there on the side and you can actually fold these seats down like I said and once you fold them down you'll see that really really increases your uh, cargo capacity like if you're stopping at the store and you're picking up a box or something and you just need a few another foot or so you can fold the seats down and and really just go ahead and put whatever you want in there pretty much as long as you can fit it in in this uh opening here you're good to go so let's take a look under here this is where your spare tire and tools are located plus there's the actual funnel that i was talking about for putting gas in the vehicle if you need to use a gas can and you can of course use some space under here for some cargo capacity and this is pretty neat this is padded so uh, when you're putting stuff back here it's not gonna, gonna bounce around too much it's gonna have some soft padding to kind of um, cushion it take a look at the window sticker I'm gonna leave this information in the description too so you can check it out but just in case it doesn't show up here's the meat and potatoes here on the window sticker of course you can use the pause button to kind of check it out in more detail if you want let's take a look on this side to give you another point of view so to start the vehicle is pretty much as traditional as you can get you just put the key in and turn it Take a look under the hood so to open the hood there's a little latch and it's over here far to the left now it's really easy easily seen you have that yellow color there to kind of clear you in on on where the lever is but you just move it to the right there and it unlatches the hood and it does require a prop you can see it's color coded too so you can find it easy and prop the hood up for you so this is a 2.0 liter four-cylinder engine 160 horsepower 146 pound-feet of torque made it to a six-speed automatic transmission so it's pretty amazing that you can get it's rated at 40 miles per hour per gallon on the highway which is pretty awesome and it's not covered up with plastic it actually is does uh, utilize some plastic in the construction of the engine with the intake manifold and the uh, the valve cover and stuff like that let's take a look here on the driver's side which is just like the other side you have the soft touch uh, fabrics here and very comfortable and smooth and and contoured in a, in a nice way to where it allows room for your body and accessing stuff so you have your power windows here in the front side mirror controls and your door lock controls Manual adjustments here on the seats. This one on the driver's side actually has the ability to raise and lower the seat by using this lever here. And your headlights are controlled here as an off, parking lights, headlights, and then an automatic feature, which is pretty cool. You also have the dimmer switch for your gauges and the ability to pop the trunk and open it up right there. So here we are on the inside, 2016 Ford Focus in the S trim level, and this is a sedan. 
So let's take a look at the steering wheel. And this one has a tilt and a telescoping steering column, which you can, once you get it in place, you lock it in place with this little lever here. It locks it in place, and then you're good to go. Now this is a full synthetic, one kind of like a one-piece synthetic uh, steering wheel, which is great because it has the, it's comfortable, it's easy to clean, it's extremely durable, and it has this leather, simulated leather texturing here, so you have that really comfortable feel. You get a good grip. You also have the 10 and 2 positions, driver ed position grips there, plus you can, of course, uh, hold it down here, which is contoured for your thumb there. It's pretty cool. So you have quite a bit of Quite a few buttons here here on the right side is for your radio uh, you can have your volume up and down you can also change through your cd tracks but you can or your your radios and uh, stations and stuff but also it these buttons serve for your phone so once you pair your bluetooth phone you can uh, answer calls hang up on calls and make calls using the voice recognition system here on the left side you have uh, some buttons here to correspond with your menu system which we'll look at in a second Turn, turn signal switch there is on that side. Your windshield wipers are on that side. Let's take a look at the gauges. You have the RPM gauge there on the left and the speedometer there on the right. And there at the very bottom, the fuel gauge and temperature gauge. Now you notice the fuel gauge has a little fuel pump there with an arrow pointing to the right showing you which side the fuel door is on, which is cool. So the screen right here uh, really nice easy on the eyes blue screen. It gives you some information Quite a bit of information once you start digging into it uh, Like say when you open up the door, it's gonna give you a little alert like that and Which door is open that kind of stuff and also shows you a digital speedometer right now But using these arrows here on the steering wheel I'm going to kind of scroll through you can see you have a little scroll bar, bar there on the right I'm gonna scroll down. We have a trip odometer Average fuel economy, instant fuel economy, which is pretty cool. It has like a little bar that goes up and down as you drive, so you can keep an eye on your uh, how efficiently you drive. Distance to empty, 62 miles. Uh, trip timer, which you can reset that. And trip one, and then your digital speedometer. Now I'm going to go to the left. The left arrow takes me out of that particular trip one screen. We can go into trip two. And we can see all the information there. It's going to have a all the all the same screens as the other one, except for it's going to uh, count differently, a completely separate counter. You can go into an information screen. Uh, this will you have access to your my key information, and uh, with your keys, you can add keys to the system there. Go back out of that. Scroll down, and there's all kinds of different settings that you can uh, you can change. Let's go to driver assist. See what's in there. Traction control. You can turn that feature on and off. And go into vehicle settings. Uh, the lighting. You can change uh, different lighting situations. So, like, say your daytime running lights, you could turn those on and off. That kind of stuff. So basically what I'm trying to show you is that this is a whole uh, menu system that you can go up and down and get in different screens and get different information per screen. So once you start digging, like I said, you get all kinds of information. You don't actually have to go in there and keep an eye on anything. If there's any kind of problem, like say anything, like say your tire pressure is low or something like that, it's going to pop up and alert you. It's, you know, changing the oil, that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's take a look over here with the center stack going on. I love the, the contours, the looks. The sheen of the black plastic is really, it's kind of like a matte uh, color, which looks really nice to me. And the dashboard is, is a non-reflective soft material. It's kind of like a, a really firm uh, Nerf football or something there, which is interesting. So, starts off with this screen at the top. Now, it's not a touch screen, so touching it will not do anything. So you control this screen with the buttons below it. So you have some options here at the bottom. You can choose the corresponding buttons down here. You can also, in certain screens, change uh, different settings. You can also go to certain menus. So right now, 
We're in the radio screen. We could also push media and select a different media device. So like say Bluetooth audio, uh, auxiliary input, CD player, that kind of stuff. So we can choose that. We can pair a phone and we can uh, edit, edit different things on our phone there. We don't have one uh, paired right now, but so it says cancel or add. So cancel corresponds with this button here. So we're gonna cancel that. And then you have a menu system where you can go in and uh, change your clock settings and stuff like that. And then you also have a, a button separately for just setting the time on the clock to make it super, super easy. So pretty simple there. You have a volume knob, tune through the stations. You have a bunch of presets here. And for those of you that keep in the 90s alive, we have the CD player still in this vehicle. All right, so let's look down here. This is your climate control. You have your temperature on that side, your fan speed, where you want the air to blow. And you notice it's, it's very simple. You just pick the where you want the air to go and you can actually choose more than one. You can see that. You have front and rear defrosters. All right, and down here you have a little storage pocket and a USB port for charging stuff and also playing music through the sound system. 12 volt power supply is there. This is pretty cool, it has a place to put cards. So you can put your identification, or you can put your business cards. You can also put a parking garage tickets in there, or tickets for tolls, that kind of stuff. So here's your shifter. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse. So we can see get the backup camera pops up right here. And also, the grid lines move to give you an estimated trajectory as you turn the steering wheel. So I'm turning the steering wheel, and it's, adjusting the trajectory behind the vehicle so you can get an idea of where you're going continuing down there's neutral drive and then you have a low range this is where you need some more engine braking it just gives you a lower gear ratio uh, than normal so you also have this downhill descent button here so you can push that and it'll give you a little indicator here and that way you can get some more engine braking uh, going downhill so it just you're just telling the vehicle hey I'm going downhill uh, hold on to the uh, the gears a little bit uh, before before letting go so I can actually slow down and not have to use my brakes as much so you have a parking brake there cup holders here and the cup holders are pretty interesting they have this little removable bottom so you can accommodate for taller cups or coffee or whatever like so and they also have these little side pieces that are soft where it, it really holds on to your cup so when you're late for work and you're aggressively driving and going to work you don't spill your coffee as much okay so over here you have a little storage pocket and a USB port and auxiliary input so you can like plug in your phone and throw it in this compartment and play music uh, while you're racing to work okay so up here is the rearview mirror and it has a manual day and night mode uh, this is just your uh, microphone for your Bluetooth system and the visors have mirrors in them it's always good and the visors have the ability to extend out this is pretty neat so they could extend out so you can get just the right spot uh, you know because you know how the Sun it is it always tries to and it always probably will get around the visors and try to blind you any way it possibly can Okay, let's take a look at the visibility here in the back. Let's see if we can get you a good angle here. Yeah, there we go. So you have a nice big glass in the back. And you have some uh, side windows there that you can see out of that really helps out with blind spots while you're driving. You also have the backup camera, of course, to help out while backing up. All right, there you have it, 2016 Ford Focus. Really awesome car, uh, fun to drive, has a lot of horsepower and gets good gas mileage. I mean, 40 miles per gallon plus on the highway, that's amazing. So thank you for watching. Thank you to Conway Ford, Tracy Luke here at Conway Ford. She's, uh, she's who you wanna contact if you wanna buy some vehicles, any Ford vehicles, you just go ahead and contact her. I'll leave her contact information in the description. I do not work for Conway Ford. Tracy is a uh, friend here that she'll hook you up. So anyways, thank you guys. Thank you Conway Ford and I'll see you guys next time.